On today's show, Toyota opens up its fuel cell patents, Mercedes shows off a high-tech concept, and car sales soar in the U.S. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for January 6th of 2015. Last summer, Tesla made its patents available to anyone in hopes of spurring the growth of electric vehicles. And now Toyota is doing the same thing with its fuel cell technology. The company announced that nearly 5,700 patents will be free to use by automakers, suppliers, and energy companies. Patents related to vehicles will be royalty-free until 2020, while hydrogen production and supply patents will be available for an unlimited time. Mercedes-Benz sees cars transforming from their role as a mode of transportation into a mobile living space, and it's giving us a look at that vision with a concept it calls luxury in motion. The automaker gave us a peek at what the interior would look like last month, but now we're getting some more details and a look at the wild wedge-shaped exterior. The body is made from carbon fiber reinforced plastic, aluminum, and high-strength steel, which is 40% lighter than today's vehicles. And of course, getting into the lounge-like interior is important, so the concept features suicide doors and seats that swing out by 30 degrees when those doors are opened. If needed, the front seats can swivel around to face the rear seat passengers or face forward for manual driving at which time the steering wheel will extend for automatically from the dash. It also features six display screens that passengers can interact with through touch, gestures, or eye tracking. The Luxury in Motion will make its debut at the Consumer Electronics Show today. And speaking of CES, don't forget to check out our coverage of the show today. John will be on the floor interviewing everyone from the CEO of Ford, Mark Fields, to John McFarlane, the Director of Global Marketing and Innovation at General Motors, about the technology that they're unveiling. So make sure you check out our website, Autoline.tv, throughout the day to watch the latest interviews. Still to come, consumers say they'll pay up for new technology and a look at U.S. car sales in December. Autoline Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, and by Dow Automotive Systems, breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. We've seen augmented reality used in the automotive world in some pretty cool ways, but Korean startup Thinkware may have missed the mark a little bit. Its navigation system uses AR to display an image of the road with the driving route laid over top, and it can even show things like slow driving areas. This video probably looks pretty familiar to anyone that's played video game racing simulators before, but for a navigation system, I think it's just too distracting and would be better suited for a HUD in a track car, kind of like the virtual windscreen from Jaguar. And speaking of technology, a new study says consumers are willing to pay up for new gadgets in their cars. A Harris poll conducted for autotrader.com found that just over half of the respondents would pay up to $1,500 for advanced safety and entertainment technology. That's good news for automakers, but we'll have to see if consumers actually pay up for that technology when they go out and buy a new car. Back in November, we told you how you could enter to win a trip to Geneva, thanks to the folks at the North American International Auto Show, Bose, and Delta. Well, what are you waiting for? You can enter your name every day until a winner is chosen on January 26th. So click the headline in today's transcript to get your name into the drawing and a chance at a really unique opportunity. Coming up next, a look at the winners and losers in last month's sales race. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. This is the human element at work, Dow. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. Twenty fourteen was a great year for the auto industry in the U.S. 
Wards reports that car makers sold over 16.4 million vehicles last year, a gain of nearly 6% compared to 2013. That's the highest total since 2006, and the fifth straight year, sales have increased in the American market. And as we've reported, analysts expect sales to increase this year too. But now let's look at December's numbers. Automakers sold nearly 1.5 million vehicles, which is up over 6% compared to a year ago. Kia led all automakers with a 30% jump in sales. That helped the company post its best ever sales year in the US. Next on the list is Subaru, which also posted its best year in the US, with sales increasing nearly 20%. Fiat Chrysler boosted its sales by 15% in December and was followed by GM, which posted over a 14% increase. Audi rounds out the top five with close to a 9% gain. Even though sales were up, a number of automakers struggled in December. Volkswagen led the way with close to a 4% drop in sales. Volvo is next on the list with sales decreasing by 3%. The Swedish automaker was followed by Ford and Honda. Jaguar Land Rover rounds out the list with a 2% drop in sales. That's a quick overview of December, but we'll have more sales analysis in future shows. But that wraps up today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.